Are you excited to be able to win in 2024? Are you ready to send Joe Biden back to his basement for a permanent vacation? And we'll send anyone else they put up back to wherever we need to. I don't know. California, whoever they put up, we'll make sure it happens. Are you ready to work hard over these next two weeks so that we win the Iowa caucus? Casey and I appreciate all that you've done. We've worked hard on the ground here. It makes a difference. Uh, people come up to me all the time. They're, they're excited. They're recruiting more people. I know you guys are going to be working hard to do this. Uh, all we have to do is work hard. We have the, I mean, the way I view the, the choice in this primary, uh, Donald Trump is running on his issues. Nikki Haley is running on her donor's issues. I'm the only one running on your issues. And I'm the only one running that can say, uh, everything I promised the people I would do since I've been in office, I delivered on 100%. We've done it. And you all in Iowa know because you have a governor that's delivered big for you. You've got a lot of members. Governor Reynolds and a lot of the members of the legislature, we have huge support from the Iowa legislature. We're thankful for that. You guys have been able to produce big wins. Uh, big conservative policy reforms, and look at the result. You're one of the most successful states in the United States. So that's really what it's all about. But you know, we've got a lot of problems in this country, and they all go back to the same way of thinking, this leftist ideology, the woke agenda, the far left Democrats, they destroy cities, they destroy states, and they're doing their doggone best to destroy this country. Yeah. I'm the only one running who has beaten these people time and time again. We beat all the organs of the left. We beat the teachers union when we enacted universal school choice. We beat Fauci on COVID. We beat Soros on crime by removing two of his prosecutors in Florida. We beat the Democrats on election integrity by having universal ID and having uh, no ballot harvesting in Zuckerbucks. We did that in Florida. And we beat the left by banning China from buying land in our state. No farm land in our state. So that's ultimately what it's about. And I think if you look around the country, other than Florida, Iowa, there's a, some exceptions, Republicans get beat by the Democrats. They get beat by the left. Uh, we have a lot of Republicans. The minute the left comes after them or the media comes after them, they cave. They don't even stand in and fight. We got some that'll try to fight, but they don't know how to do it, and they end up uh, losing, whether that's losing to Pelosi on budget negotiations, uh, whether that's not coming through with your promise to do things like build the wall and make Mexico pay for it. Um, whether it's turning over the country to Fauci and not firing him when it was obvious that needed to be done, but instead giving Fauci an award your last day in office. That's losing, guys. And I don't want to lose anymore. I want to win. So we're going to be working really hard. We have worked hard. We're proud of doing that. Uh, the First Lady, you know, Casey, has gone out. She's actually been out knocking on doors in neighborhoods around around Iowa. People see her. They, you know, she's got commercial on on the air now, and then they see her show up at her house. And so, so she's working hard to do. I'm working hard. I mean, we've been out. We've done a couple of church services today. Obviously, this event we're going to be doing stuff uh, on New Year's even uh, and it's all the way through. We're not going to stop. We are the hardest working campaign of any of the candidates running. <laughs> But I think we have an opportunity uh, to just make a statement that in this country, it's we the people that ultimately decide these things. Because I think you have a lot of media that they don't think you even matter. They want to create a narrative that it's not even, why even bother going through with any of this? That they can, can just determine the outcome 
uh, based on who their pundits want to talk about or who they want to see uh, to be the nominee, because they have their own agendas as to why uh, they would want that to do. Uh, and so I would just say, if there's people on the bench, you tell them, you know, the one guy the media doesn't want is Governor DeSantis. Isn't that the best endorsement you can possibly have? We also have to prove that the swamp doesn't get to choose uh, who the nominee is. You want to know the number one guy that they've spent money against? Governor DeSantis. So isn't that another endorsement that they're spending $40 million uh, against me to try to smear me? They would not do that if they didn't think that I was a threat to their power. Uh, and so they're doing it for a reason, because they know uh, when we get to Washington, uh, there's going to be a new sheriff in town. Business as usual ends on January 20th, 2025. They know that. That's why they're concerned. So all those indicators just show uh, that what we're doing is the right thing for this country. You know, if it were easy, we wouldn't have these problems in the country. You know, you go up there, there's a reason why Washington operates the way it is, because there's people that benefit from that up in D.C. The bureaucrats don't want to give up their power. Uh, the left doesn't want to give up their power. You have all this stuff. Uh, I'm the guy that threatens their power, and so they're concerned about it, and they're coming after me. You know what? They should be concerned about it, because we are going to change this stuff. So, So I think Iowa, Iowans can show that, you know, uh, you can kind of try to drive and uh, jam a narrative down our throat here, but we're just, we're not going to accept that. Uh, we're going to do what we think is right, and we're going to make sure that this country uh, moves forward in a way that's actually going to reverse the decline that we're seeing. And all the stuff that they've talked about, all that goes up in smoke once you guys come out on the 15th and catapult us to victory. Everything else is just gonna go by the wayside. You have the power to do that. So I think we've gotta get it done. And look, this is, uh, you know, it's a, it's a messy process and all this other stuff. And sometimes people say, well, you know, why, why do you go through with it? You know, people, they say bad things about you, they lie about you, they do all this. Although I would say, you know, honestly, the fact that they lie about you, that shows that they don't really have anything accurate to go at you with. You know, they don't really say that I've done anything bad in Florida because they know I've done a good job and been a good leader. So they gotta try to find all these other things, uh, which is fine. They're like, you know, don't you get tired of that? And I'm just thinking to myself, you know, there's been so many people that have sacrificed throughout the, this country's history far more than just me going out there and working hard and getting a lot of incoming thrown my way. And you know, there's people that have put on the uniform of this country, people that have risked their lives for our freedom, people that have given the last full measure of devotion for service to this country. Uh, if I can't go out there and, and take some brushback from the media, from some of these other candidates, uh, then, then that's just the bare minimum you should be able to do. So we've, we're, we're standing on the shoulders of a lot of people that have sacrificed over many, many generations so that we could live in the freest country in the world. And I am not going to sit here and watch that all get thrown away. Uh, we're going to stand up and we're going to save this country. So let's get it done. We have 2024 ahead of us. Uh, we hold the future in our hands. We have it within our power uh, to put this country on a totally new trajectory. Um, and I'm thankful for all that you guys have done. Uh, I know a lot of you have worked incredibly hard, uh, and I know you're gonna work a lot harder over these next two weeks. So please, Casey and I, from the bottom of our heart, we really thank you for your support. Uh, we're honored by it, and you know, I'm not somebody that is um, confused about how a uh, constitutional republic works. As a governor, as a president, uh, I'm not a ruler of the people, I'm a servant of the people. My job is to serve you. God rules over us, I don't rule over you. Uh,
And so we have the humility and we have that frame of mind to understand uh, what that means. Uh, and we're uh, very mindful of making sure that that spirit uh, has a resurgence throughout this country. Because I think there's a lot of people that have been drunk on power for far too long. They get up to Washington, D.C. They don't think they have to uh, abide by the same rules they oppose on everybody else. Um, and that's just not the way this system works. And so uh, we're gonna have a new birth of freedom in this country. Uh, we're gonna have a new surge of Republican principles in this country. Um, and by golly, it's gonna end up saving this country. So let's get it done. Now is our time. Now is our time. Seize the day and get the job done. I wanna bring up before we, uh, before we go, are we going to bring up the governor and bring up everybody else? Your governor is here. I want her to come up and say hello.